baby season so real quick I figured I'd do a quick video on how I have my baby set up currently Ugh, got this new light I'm trying to trying to figure out how to work so I'm gonna talk about these guys right here these little 96 quart tubs show you how I have them for hatchlings that are not hanging out here permanently I love them so check them out This is something that Chris Montross at Dark Horse Herpeticulture turned me on to, and it is these McCormick brand 96 ounce containers that you get at Dollar Tree for a whopping $1.25. They were another brand, they're now McCormick. As you can see, it's got about the same footprint as, as far as like a floor space, as you would get with like a six quart, not as tall. So that is kind of the nice thing. And so right here, this is how I have my Dion set up. So there's a little Little baby Dion's. This is one of the ones that is not eaten yet. Just to kind of give you a reference as to how small this is. Like they're little. This, this setup is great for hatchlings. And so as you can see, it has enough space to give them a humid hide, like a regular hide, a water bowl, and then a decent amount of bedding for them to bury under if they wanted to. So when I buy these, like I said, you get them for about $1.25 now at Dollar Tree. Everything used to be a dollar there, now it's it's upped a little bit. And I just took a soldering iron and just went around the edge here and did holes. Left the lid untouched and put my information on the front there. And then I have another piece of tape here. This is what Chris showed me how he does his. And any meals or anything like that that needs to be recorded goes right on the top here. So I really like these so far. What I have figured out is that getting the lid on, if you try and go around the edge and stuff, it's gonna be a real nightmare. I figured out that if you wanna close it, you just push down on the center and the whole thing just snaps on. And there's more than enough clearance for the young animals to get in and out of their humid hide to get into the water bowl and out of the water bowl. So far these, I've got these stacked up. Um, they stack really nice too. And so as you can see here, this whole stack is Dion's. I've got some corns right in there. It's been working really well for them. It's, it's the perfect size for, for small colubrids. It's easy to see everything. They're, they're cheap, they're lightweight. They hold everything they need to hold. And these are, uh, I really, really like them. So here's an example. This is some some Miami caramels that came from Chris Painchab recently. Haven't even had their first meal yet, except for now. Uh, and there you go. I mean, it works out really well. These little caramels are gorgeous too. Some of these will be for sale soon. These guys don't have humid hides just because I, I haven't put some together yet. I have plenty of tubs to do it. Again, you want it to close, just push down on the on the center there and maybe the sides just to make sure. These things, once they're snapped on, like these snakes are not getting out of them. Like I said, Dollar Tree. I also get these little water bowls from Dollar Tree as well because I, I freaking love Dollar Tree when it comes to this kind of stuff. You can get a three pack of these for $1.25, just nice thick plastic. And these just work out really well. I, uh, like I said, I'm, I'm really liking these so far. Pretty much the entire entirety of, of the stack here, like this bio G is gonna get moved because the Barons is gonna go in there at some point. And then this is just gonna be like my little baby center for pretty much stuff that I'm not planning to hold on to, but stuff that I will be holding on to is gonna go in my hatchling rack. And then this will just kind of be the temporary housing area for, for all the babies for the season. So Dollar Tree, check it out. You can probably get them online as well, like on the Dollar Tree website. Chris said he was at one point able to buy them by the case, uh, but it sounds like that is not the option anymore. So we're kind of beholden to that. But for baby colubrids, smaller stuff like Nerodia, can't recommend these enough. They would work well for Bairds. I think Bairds being slightly larger babies, it would probably not last them as long. But if you're looking for something to hold them, you know, hold them over for the first six months or whatever until they sell, you decide what you want to hold on to, whatever. Uh, these are fantastic options that I cannot recommend enough, so check them out. I know we did Jake's collection tour and we are gonna do mine here soon. I'm kind of just sort of figuring out how I want to go about doing it, if I'm gonna do it all at once, if I want to break it up into like the different groups. Not entirely sure, but it is gonna happen. 
Uh, if you enjoyed this though, please like and subscribe. Working on some, some cool new THN merch. Made this Spilotti shirt today. Got some other cool stuff in the works. So if you're looking for podcast merch, stuff, shirts, we got some hats made, hit me up. We'll make them happen. Other than that, gonna do a video probably on the baby season so far, eggs and stuff, breeding and whatnot. So definitely stay tuned for that. Other than that, it's gonna be the usual podcast content. So thank you all. Enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you later.